Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Truck, and we are playing Stellaris on Insane Difficulty as the Architects Foundation. We're going tall and uh, uh, something has finally happened. We actually have an endgame crisis now going on. We have the Unbidden down here. And the first act of these guys has been to destroy a colony of the Pokemon Kingdom. And they've also gone ahead. I mean, maybe they just destroyed an outpost. I actually have... Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, um, interestingly enough no planets in the area at all. I don't think planet destroying weapons are in the game as of yet. Well yeah, in any case, they not only destroyed that Pokemon Kingdom planet, but also the Zura Corporation, <laughs> which is um, pretty shitty. They destroyed one of the traders. I mean, we still got um, other traders, but um, let's just hope that they don't continue this kind of crap. Um, we are currently in the process of actually building up the sentry array. Um, I think this is the last um, stage. Static antennas provide an unprecedented boost to raw coverage, which should basically give us um, perfect vision over the whole galaxy. I'm looking forward to that because then we can correctly ascertain their strength. Um, uh, various viewers have told me that uh, these endgame crises have been um, pumped up quite a bit uh, to the point where they seem to enter the galaxy with about a million fleet strength. Not sure if I believe that, but we saw a 110k fleet over here, 112k, so extra dimensional armada 6. Well, the number also doesn't say anything because the AI is not very um, efficient in terms of naming its fleets. So but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll try to actually collect our strength, um, build up our fleet, and more importantly, build up our... Um, our capability to create more minerals um, and when we're getting here um, to the point where we can start producing them I've queued up a bunch of synths on here uh, on here as well oh and we got a newly migrated Pokemon I mean these guys must be desperate to go to some place that is outside the gloss where any foundation because they still are um, pushing people off those planets which is a bit annoying to be quite honest um, yeah I've also seen that uh, these Pokemon guys over here in the... What was it? Was it Martar? Don't think so, but I... I mean, they're enslaving the, the synthetics, which is very annoying to me because in our empire, synthetics actually have the same rights and we are egalitarians, but they're also enslaving um, other sentient races. They're even enslaving themselves. <laughs> these guys are just nasty. You gotta say, these guys are just nasty as well. Um, our former overlords, they really have taken a turn for the worse. I'm not sure if they were always slavers, um, but they are now, which, um, yeah, is a bit of a problem. And in two more years, we'll actually be able to go to war to them. And that might actually happen. I might just feed them to uh, my vassals over here, to the Pogo and Galactic Alliance, to um, make sure that uh, no more atrocities are committed. Um... Yeah, I have a truce with the Gloss Wehenny until 79 and with the Pokemon Kingdom until 76. Now the thing is, should I really be attacking these guys um, with the Unbidden in the galaxy? We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm not expecting huge losses um, out of this. That's just not a thing that I'm expecting. Um, how many... How's our fleet composition? I mean, we've got 31 Corvettes. We might actually just want to put out a couple more of those guys. Um, uh, considering, are we are we building the last segment of the refinery? I think so. I think so. We're also building more energy arches in here. Building two more habitats because we're getting some energy problems too. Um, mainly because I have a lot of these outposts. I don't really need them. I'm trying to get rid of them. I'll be able to get rid of these two, I think, once I've built this one up um, to a certain point. Trade treaty has timed out, that's fine. But uh, yeah, I was about to build more corvettes. Um, which one is the corvette spaceport? You're the destroyer spaceport. This is a corvette spaceport. So let's just uh, put someone in charge who will actually reduce our cost a little bit. You're busy governing first brick. I'm going to leave you there. Um, oh, and you have arrested development. Great. Can we get another dude? No, we cannot. All right, then. I'm going to have you. Okay, second buttress now has that leader. Which will allow us to go for very cheap corvettes. Let's just build a huge amount of them. Alright, that should do it. How much are we building? We're building 28. 
Right. Um, first buttress, second buttress. Um, these cruisers have gone up a little bit, although the tired. Oh yeah, over here. Still expensive, but actually I could just leave the guy in first buttress uh, in second buttress since we um, can build the cruiser, cruisers on there as well. So, and first brick is there too. Um, Obavni arbitrators declared war on the Mishar Galactic Sovereignty. Really? So these guys have the unbidden next to them, and you have nothing better to do than to attack them. You stupid gits. You stupid xenophilic gits. All right then. All right then. Do you have any signatories under your crap? Close the borders to me. They're trading some crap. They're fighting these guys. Confederated Great Old Ones Clan. Sintimoroi Block. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. To be sure. Now let's put some more corvettes in there. Well, that should be it. That, that's enough corvettes for now. Um, although with settling more energy arches, we'll also get... Um, more fleet limit. I can also go ahead and build some spaceports, I guess. Let's go up to fast speed again. In progress. Right, we have the Exeter Star Collective in a non aggression pact with the Jukwalla Fire Tribes. Not sure if I care. Um, let's go for this. Uh, we're colonizing that section now. 600 days until that one is finished. It's going to take a while until these guys are actually built up to the point where we can let them do something useful, but we're getting there. Another Federation Association offer. Vem Corporate Union actually wants to invite me into the Stellar League. Meh. We'll see how that goes. We're done with recruiting our armies on First Garden, so I think I'm going to embark all these guys. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put them all onto the Agrarian District A. Come on, guys. Land your armies on there. Come on, 190 days and we'll be we'll be able to see what is happening. You can see this big um, thing over here, this big ring. That's where we can see everything. That's the range of our sentry array currently. And uh, once that is done, it's actually going to be across the whole... Um, galaxy i think just gonna be huge looking forward to that we are making some progress in terms of food but we also have the rapid breeding though so i mean that's pretty good how's our capital looking um uh, let's just let's just have a look at one of our rapid breeding hammerheads where's a growing hammerhead pop over here we're making 0.93 per month and we need 80 Holy cow. Yeah, we're not growing that fast at all. 0.33. Okay, and we got enough traditions to actually adopt the domination tradition now. War demands to subjugate other empires reduced by 25%. We get plus 20 to acceptance when diplomatically subjugating other empires. Right. Um, let's go for that. Why not? I mean, Defender of the Galaxy, it's going to be good. I guess I'm going to adopt that before we actually move to war. Depending on their fleet size, I mean, if they only have two or three hundred K, we might just be able to um, fight them off on our own. Right, now, one of the annoying things um, that the game has in store for us is actually changing all these guys. I think uh, we could just go for the Xeno Cavalry, though. Army health, army damage, as compared to army health, army upkeep. They're more expensive, but... Let's give our battle droids some Xeno Cavalry. Have them ride into battle on some huge, I don't know, alien beasts. Did I get you already? No, I did not. Yeah, there's no way to make that faster. Sorry about that. Guess I should have done that behind the scenes, but we weren't finished building these, these guys. At least we'll have two complete stacks with... Um, with troops ready after this I mean if I don't if I don't get all of them yeah, it's fine I wonder why the average damage is so low I thought I'd actually built these guys um, with a military academy battle androids okay so 46th we've got a crap ton of these guys Huge amount. 
right. Come on. How are we actually getting... Yeah, that was the loss of them. Very good. Okay, sorry. Um, now we got 50 troops. Um, someone... Wants me to join a defensive pact. No, sorry. Sorry, that's not a thing. These guys want Iridium Ore. Yes, I take that. Why not? I'm always happy to have something like that happen. Um, we want more cruisers. So I guess we're going to go ahead and queue them up in first break. I think I'm going to go for more Quadrant Police cruisers. Actually, no idea what their, what their loadout is. And we have a Migration Treaty. I mean, yeah, why not? Guess that's fine. Um, gotta make sure that these guys are set to have proper rights. I mean, yeah, I've, I've tried to actually set default species rights. Full citizenship. Um, decent living standards. Full military service. And then migration controls I cannot influence in any case. So... Um... How do I do that? Gotta go for all. Um, it's not these guys. Man, you look ugly. Where are they? Rex Thalak Neck? It's not them. Man, that's a huge amount of Pokemons. Pokemon Superior, Clarus, Pogomon. They have been... Uh... Oh yeah! Actually, I don't have to change that anymore. <laughs> Everyone has full citizenship now. Perfect. Very good. That's, that's how it should be. Okay, I never have to change that again. Great. Sorry that I didn't do that earlier. I kind of misunderstood the system. I tried to set them once and then couldn't really do it anymore. Guess I made a mistake uh, trying to do that, but uh, it's all good now. It's all good now. Don't worry. Come on. Finish colonizing that refinery. We need it. How's the surface looking? Okay, we'll, we'll build the next level of stuff. So let's just go ahead, build all these guys up. Very good. Refinery B. Uh, requires five pops on the planet. We're having we're having basically one, two, and three pops growing at the same time, which is great. That's one of the reasons why I'm not uh, changing. What are these guys doing? Ended the rivalry with Pokemon Kingdom. Okay, why are people ending their rivalries with you? They have a defensive pack with the Lyrite Empire, but oh well. Independence is guaranteed by dynastic unit of Nazira. Really? Really? Hmm. All right. All right, so would I have to actually fight these guys? How's your military power? The equivalent in every way. That's not great. I guess that uh, closes that course of action, actually. I mean, maybe they're going to break it at some point. And we're done. Exactly what technology is housed in the ring that encirculates the sentry array is a closely guarded secret. The results, however, are undeniable. We now have virtually perfect knowledge of all fleet movements in the galaxy. Well secluded, I see all. Very good. Very good. So now what is there to see? Um, let's have a look at the unbidden first. Uh, we have 298,000, and then we have 59,000, we have 115, which brings us up to, what, 400, 450, um, 500, 600k is what they have, okay, holy crap, there's another 124, and there's another, <laughs> yeah, 700, 800, yeah, holy crap, <laughs> these guys are gonna, are gonna obliterate the rest of the galaxy, holy crap, I'm really glad that they didn't spawn right next to me, but I kind of have to um, mount a defense against these guys, <laughs> how, how strong are these, these people, 154k, yeah, you guys are no, are in no way equivalent. I don't think so. I could actually wipe the floor with these guys. These guys have 81. 75. All right. Um, what 
Where's your main fleet? That's 3,000. Yeah, there's 90,000 and 50 and 66. Okay, 130, 200, I guess. You are equivalent. Okay, that's the friendly. Right, Rexacodium Nation, I think they're a non entity. Yes. 37k. Well, it's not bad. How much do these guys have? Um, I guess we can't really see because they're waging war against the Mishar. Those stupid assholes. Hundred and ninety, hundred and sixty-one. I mean, the Unbidden and these guys are going to come into conflict, but still, the Unbidden are actually really, really strong. <laughs> okay, then. Is there anyone else that can oppose them? Thirty-four k, thirty-four k, fifty k, eighty-eight k. How much do the Pokemons have? 19k. <laughs> and these guys? Yeah, they're not clever enough to merge their fleets, but they are pretty weak, all in all. Alright, alright. I guess we have to step up and defend the galaxy, so no more fooling around. We're actually gonna go for the defender of the galaxy trait. That's just how it goes. I mean. Right, um. I don't really have to save this um, Ascension perk slot. And I could just use it for the Galactic Force Projection. Because it would actually give us a fair amount of stuff. I mean, 60% additional. Uh, which means that this would give us 260. As much as we're getting from all our 26 habitats right now. I mean, that's still substantial. That's still substantial. I'm not planning on actually going for the synthetic evolution at any point. I mean, although we're getting close, but still, I mean, growing, self-growing pops, it's just, it's just worse in some ways. Yes, your people are immortal and all that, but we won't be able to fill our ring worlds n not nearly as, as fast as before. Hmm. I mean, there's no rush. There's no rush. I definitely want this. Five core cool sector systems at the same time. I mean, we can can research um, this basically forever, but it's going to take a long time. Oh, one more month and we're actually going to gain plus 5% more minerals. Well, it's definitely very interesting what we can see now with the Sentry Array, which is maybe the best um, of the mega projects or mega structures um, entirely. These guys have opened their borders, I guess because of the 20% uh, 20 um, opinion boost that we get from people. And we're done with the extraction patterns, which actually has pushed us to 1.4k. Really good. Really good. Okay, yeah, we have nothing in here that's really worthwhile. Let's go for, I mean, explosive weapon attack speed. Hmm. Rocket propate, propelled payloads. Now let me have a look at our designs currently. Um, these guys. Is that explosive? No, it's energy. And we do have some on those. We're using some missiles on those guys. Hmm. Maybe that's worth it. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. Let's go for it. It's fairly cheap as well, so let's go. Um, do I have anyone with rocketry as their field of expertise? The only leading society. Do we have a genius? I have someone very similar with um, the assistant over here. And with you, Clandrex. Yeah, because he's no longer a leader. All right, we're gonna put Clandrex in charge. I guess that's um, I guess that's fine. All right, very good, very good. And we need more cruisers. I mean, that's for certain. Spaceport um, cruisers is where it's at. Quadrant police class. Um, these are all plasma guys. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead, build as many cruisers as we have minerals at the moment. How's that colonization coming along? Yeah, okay, we're there, actually. Very nice. Um, 
food. I think we're going to put the Paradise Dome one here. This one's going to be a mine. Yeah, that's pretty pretty crazy, but we're going to put a mine over there. And I'm also going to put a mineral side on here. Actually getting rid of the one mineral, but um, giving plus two minerals to those. Um, yeah, double adjacency is actually not a bad idea. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> um, and then we need... We need an Autotron Monument over here. And we also need a Visitor Center, which I actually could build on something that gives us energy. Uh, get a little bit of a bigger boost. And then... Another mine. Another mine. Another mine. Let's go for another mine over here. And another mine over here. And that's the basic layout of our, of our stuff. And then... We actually don't have any minerals anymore. That's a shame. Um, right, let's put down another mine and then we're just gonna start building um, synths on about two rows of these tiles. Build a synth, come on, build a synth. Build a synth. More synths. Very good. And hopefully people will actually migrate to this place as well. So build a synth over here. Maybe one down here. I guess that's uh, I guess that's fine. Um, building wise, put a basic mine on there and put a basic mine on here. That's all good. Um, you don't have a mine actually. So let's make that happen. And then I'm guessing we might want the visitor center to work as fast as possible. So we're going to do something like this have the visitor center move forward as soon as it's actually able. Let's upgrade this. And on this refinery, we could actually start building um, stuff everywhere. Um, where is the spot that I left for the Paradise Dome? Did I not leave any? I guess we we're going for here. This is also a good one, but there's uh, minerals on there. So let's just go for Paradise Dome down here. That's very good. We need some ore processing, which we can put in here. Let's go for the ore processor, mineral processing, right? And then let's just go for some more mining networks. Mining, 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 mining everywhere. And then people can just migrate there. And from time to time, I have to look in and Oh, we've already queued, queued a construction. Okay, then. I thought we didn't have the resources. Yes, get rid of everything else except for minerals. I am pretty certain that we're actually the strongest um, empire in the galaxy. Lyrite Empire broke their defensive pact with the Pokemon Kingdom. Okay, things are happening. Non-aggression pact with the Pokemon Kingdom. These guys are shifting their alliances quite a bit. Do you still have your independence guaranteed by the other guys? They're hostile. Yeah, domestic union of Nizira. We still can't declare war because we still have a truce, but uh, it's not going to hold for much longer. Right, so Refinery A is completely done. Refinery B, we're getting there. I think we'll just keep building that one. Did I miss anything? Yeah, I missed this one. And I missed that one. So I think that does it for the whole planet. Great. And more migrants are pouring in. Some of these guys are going as well. I have got another spiritualist. Great. But next, the Prime is now in a defensive pack with the Pokemons. Okay. And the Lyrites are guaranteeing the Pokemons too. Yeah. It's annoying, but, I mean, we're not here to wage war. How far are you to becoming an actual useful vassal? 26.2% of the tax is what they have researched. Okay, then. What are the Unbidden doing? They're fighting over here. Yeah, they're getting slaughtered. These guys are getting absolutely slaughtered. Bacata watches. Oh, yeah, these are a fallen empire. 
These are a fallen empire. These are holy guardians. Okay, 23, 4,000. These guys are actually pushing the unbidden back. Okay, they destroyed one unbidden uh, fleet. The thing is, these guys will also continue to reinforce their crap. And they're also building these military stations that we have to destroy before we can actually send them back to their um, dimension. Um, two unbidden fleets in here. Yeah, Panaxla Prime has no chance. These guys are over here. I could just try to pick off some of their fleets. Before they destroy more of the galaxy than uh, we like. Hmm, okay, this is moving forward well. 125 days. Do I have enough colony ships? Yeah, I do have a colony ship over here, so... Come on. Move over here to the refinery system. We've got these guys, and we're actually going to push them up to the max level. To get more... Um, more force limit. We could also still go for the, um, for the Edict with the Grand Fleet. That would give us another 300... Which is pretty significant. <laughs> These construction ships will soon be done with our habitats. Um, speaking of those habitats, how are they doing? Okay, we've got a crow person that migrated over there. And who's now working the visitor center. That's good. An alien working a visitor center. That's great. Uh, I'm going to switch you around so that we get more migration attraction over here. That's nice. Refinery is moving forward, Refinery B, so we can now upgrade all the crap that we've built on here. This place, all I really need to do is come back and upgrade the stuff once um, a certain amount of population has been reached. Nothing else really is required of me here. Um, this place, though, gotta build the Paradise. No, I was actually keeping this for the Paradise Dome, I think, so let's put that one down. Um, let's put the mineral processing plant down. And I think that's about it. Everything else can really be uh, just minerals. Uh, mining networks is what I wanted to say. Um, I wish I could just turn off the question if I wanted to uh, suppress that tile resource. Because I know bloody well by now that I, what, I'm, what I'm doing. You can see how much nicer it is. You don't have to do that. I can just go chop, 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 chop. And we're done anyways. Ah, no, actually, I forgot these guys. More mining networks. More mining. Mine all the things. And the ring world is actually completed. That's good. Very good. Our, our third ring world. Our third ring world that has been completely completed. Um, now, yeah, I think that looks like a good spot to put you down. Looking good. Habitable section D is not a thing. Your refinery. Refinery D is what we're going to call you. Come on, colonize the thing. C is still moving forward. We have two pops on the planet. We're working the visitor center now, though. Um, oh, and we have an election. We have an election campaign. That's interesting. Union of Divine Guidance. No, just... Go away, you were a horrible leader, and you're also costing us nail capacity. No, no, no. I don't have the influence to support our current leader, but I would if I could. Just very annoying. And we could also um, elect unit 19G. In progress. Naval capacity plus 15%, holy cow, plus 10% happiness. Um, we've got another um, energy arch. That's good. Um, leads me to build another colony ship. Come on. Private colony ship, I guess. One, two. Because we have two arches in here. I will have enough for a mandate anyways. Um, be it um, mining or be it uh, research, I think. Because I think I have three in here. Yeah, one, two, three. And then I have at least one in here, which gives me the four mining uh, uh, research bases. And then mining stuff, I think I still have some things to mine over here. So we'll definitely get our 250 um, influence out of this election, which is good. Especially if we're not investing anything. 
And we've got another energy arch um, completed. Very good. Can't build new ones currently, but we're getting there. This is nice. Colonizing this place. This is already starting to put out some minerals. I mean, 70 minerals are not a huge amount, but uh, still good. Um, in terms of species... Oh, um, let's let's have a look at who's actually in our empire. We've got some Mishar, we've got some Kroll people. Yeah, right. Well, actually, I do want to modify these guys. So have that, have that. And we want to, want to modify you before bad things happen. Come on. Yeah, I gotta go too fast. Situation speed. log updated. And Ludramax has been elected as first speaker. What? Ludramax, cruiser focus, energy credits. I mean, okay, I take it. Were you the old guy as well? I don't think so. Well, I'm happy in any case. It's pretty good. I could actually get rid of the research alternatives now. Go for something else, but I'm not too keen on the 250 um, influence cost. I mean, what could we take? Um, what could we take? Beacon of Liberty is nice, but it's a little late now. Mm, police state is not necessary. We could go for idealistic foundation. Boosting the happiness of our people. That's always pretty nice. Mining guilds would be pretty good. And... I mean, parliamentary system is also um, extremely nice. Because that would uh, give us 1 over here and 0.5 over here. 1.5 in terms of influence, is pretty big. That's a pretty big chunk. Hmm. Yeah, that's something to keep in mind. What's our mandate? What's our mandate? Um, four research stations. All right, then. Let's make that happen. Let's make that happen, people. Um, you... Yeah, well, I guess I just gotta take the ones that are idle. So, you're going to go for that one. Build a research station. You, my friend. You're going to go for that one. Build a research station. We have you. Build a research station. And we have you. Go ahead. Build a research station. Chop, chop, chop. Previously scientist on ISS Zontex. Yeah, it's a new dude. It's a new dude. Okay, what else do we have to do? These pogo ones have not been um, adapted, so I guess we gotta do that. These Michelle have already been changed. Pokemon Clarus and the Rexicodium continue to actually seep into our territory. That's good. I mean, they're working for us now. Let's make them industrious and let's modify Situation them. Log updated. Let's make that happen. What's that? Not another non-aggression pact, but um, between these guys who are just um, a very small thing inside the Ixidar Star Collective. How's it going? 300k inside their starting thing, and we're done with the first Species mandate. Research complete. What? Oh, the dude died. Oh, come on! Crap! Crap. Oh, well then. Stop that. We're not going to build any any stations. That's a bit of a shame. <laughs> I could have used that um, that hit. Let's go for more shield hit points. Um, it's always good. Um, how big are the shields of our ships? Let's have a look at maybe a battleship. Normal battleship has 3,000 shields. Okay, then. I mean, that's a number. <laughs> 2,400 from the enigmatic deflector and another additional quarter. Because uh, we have that. Um, I would like to have that. Um, yeah, something like the Thuric gas or something. Directly controlled colonized systems. Yeah, it must be must be that one over here. The refinery, I think, is what we have now. Refinery C. Are we ready to upgrade this building? No. Refinery B is moving forward. These guys are moving forward. There's not too much happening in there. Shame that our first speaker died that quickly. Could have really used that um, that influence push, but yeah, I guess um, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, we've now seen what we have to do. We've got to fight these guys down. Um, they've 
nearly destroyed this um, fallen empire. Doesn't look like they have any, actually anyone left. Um, and these guys are just running rampant in the area, destroying people. Um, looks like they're also destroying these guys. These guys don't seem to have a fleet left anymore. Yeah. Um, there's the Pelagic Excursion. Oh yeah, the Fallen Empire is actually fighting these guys. And they've jumped out now. Okay then. They have very strong stations in there as well. This is an extra dimensional invader. Yeah, dimensional anchor. Which is pulling more people in. That's a real problem. I guess we have to step up very soon. Try to catch a couple of their fleets. Um, situation seems... Well, not dire, but it's, it's definitely not nice. It's definitely not nice. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to go against the um, Unbidden very soon, I uh, promise. Hope you join me for that. Thanks and bye-bye.